Welcome back, multifamily investors. We're looking at what closed last week in the five main counties that I watch in Western Washington. And pretty much on par with the averages week after week, you know, we see right around, you know, a dozen or so, and this is tracking just with uh, what we see normally. And uh, the one thing though that stands out is nothing over a million and nothing over four units. So none of the bigger stuff uh, closed recently, nothing big. But we do have these 12, most of them are duplexes. Uh, almost all of them were conventional or FHA. There was only one that was cash, the one here down in Rochester, which is the deep south end of uh, Thurston County. But I will dive into these real quick so you get an idea. <clears throat> they range from 380 to 980. This is basically two houses on Eatonville. So not a true duplex, but a two units for 380. That's not a bad price, um, you know, especially if you're looking to house hack something. This was a I believe this was an FHA buyer too. So this is a nice duplex uh, there down in Rochester. Again, cash buyer, why they probably got a little under asking. Um, had a three bed, two and three quarter bath, pretty big house with a, you know, ADU or second unit that was only 500 square feet, but great, great house hacking property. Um, not sure if it was for an investor or an owner occupied buyer. It's another big duplex townhome style, uh, side by side, built in what this, let's see, 1992 in the nineties, two bed, one and three quarter bath, almost 1500 square feet. You know, those are big units for two beds. Holy smokes. Went full price. Um, that's pretty good for Kitsap County uh, on that size of a duplex. This is a nice Puyallup uh, deal. It was this for 580 sold over asking for 620. And I'd like to also, mention let's go back to single line almost all of these out of all 12 i think there were 10 that had huge seller credits back to the buyer <clears throat> which is why some of these also were showing over asking like this one i believe they probably built in 15 or twenty thousand, but still it was over asking price but it's a pretty common thing right now still going on is you know sellers offering a credit to Buyers, even though rates have tricked, trickled down, this is uh, December 4th, and we're now getting kind of in the low sevens again. Um, so anyway, here's one in Marysville that was up for 650, sold for 630. That was FHA as well. Nice, nice duplex in Bremerton, listed for 700, sold for 715. And I specifically remember uh, the credit on this was 15,000. So that's why, you know, they probably either offered that up front or they, the seller came back and countered and said, hey, you know, if you, if you want your $15,000 credit, you got to build it into the price. Very common. Okay. One in Spanaway, this is for 750 sold for 750 They're all three beds, two and a half bath, two car garages. So real nice. Probably built in the 2000 sometime, 2007. Yeah. Um, 1700 square foot units. Uh, won't work for me as an investor, not an owner, owner occupied investor, but it will work for somebody. Most likely house hackers. Uh, this one is Silicon which is down there by Lakewood and Tacoma area. This is for 800, sold for 787. Got another one. This was in Seattle. Uh, list for 850, sold for 870. Georgetown, South South Seattle. This one in Des Moines, just over there by the airport. Um, you know, list for 895, sold for 871. That is about as cheap as you are going to see for this type of fourplex in King County. Now it probably need a lot of work and this this street in general is not fantastic it's block. You have some other fourplexes around there and stuff, but um oh it has two twos and one and two ones. That's a why it's a little under that uh, nine hundred for the most part, you know, it's been a while since we've seen um any fourplexes like this under nine hundred in King County, South King County. Here's a newer uh, contemporary duplex in the Madrona neighborhood of Seattle. You know, it's 925 sold for 915, not a huge shock there. This one um, is a fourplex on Port Orchard, which is Kitsap across the water from Seattle. If it was for a million. I thought that was, you know, probably really pushing it already at the price based on the age, uh, the 70s, and, the, and that, the fact that it had two one bedroom units. And now it says they all are the same size. I didn't get a chance to go tour this one. I was curious about the sizes though. I don't know if that's you know, typo or what, but I'd be surprised if a one bed was going for 1900 and the two bed, the same size was going for 1850. But um, anyway, congrats to the buyer that got that. 980 still seems a little rich um, when you look at this property, but 
I don't know, it didn't even have any water views. No, the water's way over there. So, um, you know, it's not me to say what's a good deal, bad deal for people. It's whatever meets their criteria and whatever helps them achieve their goals. But when we go back and look at it, you know, from 380 to 980, people are still every week transacting, finding opportunities. Uh, some of these still sell them pretty quick under a week, one, two, you know, basically three, four ish within a week. A um, couple stragglers out there, but uh, this is the opportunity that we have right now when everybody was complaining about multiple offers and waiving inspections and waiving appraisals and just going bonkers over asking price, escalation clauses. All that's gone away except rates are in the sevens. And now you have time to be a little more aggressive, making low ball offers, kicking the tires on some of these things. So let me know. I'm happy to help, but that is the status of our market. I hope this helps you kind of keep an understanding of what stuff is trading for. You know, uh, it's really, really tough in our area, Western Washington, to find a decent duplex under half a million. I know it sounds crazy, but that's just kind of the reality of it these days. All right. Thank you for watching.